Don't you just love Costco? I'm fortunate enough to live near Costco. We had a Costco last year, I think it opened, and I was so thrilled because Costco is amazing. There are some great finds in there. So I bought 12 chicken thighs, and they are really good. They are meaty, they are delicious. £3.50 for 12 of them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split it all up. So I'm gonna put two in a bag. So that means that I can just grab it out of the freezer, cook them up with some lovely healthy vegetables and potato, and bang, it's done. £3.50, guys. Honestly, I am so thrilled. So I am gonna put that down there. The next thing I got is cottage pie. Now, I believe these were about eight quid. And inside, they are massive. And obviously, I'm not gonna be able to eat anywhere near one of these. So again, I'm going to divide them up into portion sizes. I have got the containers to do so. So again, when it's been a busy day and I feel that really hungry and I just wanna have something wholesome, nourishing, I can just whack it into the oven and put some steamed vegetables on the plate and away to go. Look at that, aren't they beautiful? I'm so excited, can you tell? late at night doing this but i'm so excited to share with you my costco finds let me know in the comments below do you live near a costco do you have a membership what do you think of it what are your bargain finds because you have to know what you're going in there for because some things are really really great in value and some things aren't so good but for me this is what i love to do so i'm going to come over here first things first nearly forgot wash my hands and it's not because of the whole pandemic but thoroughly wash my hands, soap and make sure they're all scrubbed in. And then I'm gonna hit the hot tap and run them under here, just to make sure that we're all clean and hygienic. Now it's getting hot. I'm not gonna sing happy birthday like they tell you to do, I just know in my head. <laughs> Dry my hands with a clean dishcloth. And then I'm going to split up the chicken. Now this is the bit that I really don't like doing, guys, because the feel of the chicken is disgusting. It's very slimy, nasty. Okay, let's give this a go. Um, chicken here. And over here, I reuse these. I wash them and reuse these bags. So I don't throw plastic unnecessarily. And maybe I need to get a knife. Siobhan, maybe that's a good idea, girl. Let's get a knife. Hope this is going to do the job. Maybe it will. Yes. Don't worry, I'm not going to slice my fingers off. I've done that many times. Okay. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you the chicken that I'm going to separate into bags. So I'm going to put two chicken thighs. Oh my goodness, am I really going to do this? Oh, 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 oh. I don't like the feel of it. Oh, it's disgusting. Okay, go on, you lucky beauty. <laughs> Two in there. Oh, it is absolutely revolting. And I'll tie them up in a little while. So that's one dinner done. So you can get six dinners out of this. You can work the maths out. You don't have to be a rocket science or mathematician to work that out. Oh, I'm, ooh. Oh, sorry guys, I just, this is just absolutely gruesome. Oh, oh, see, as you can see, how big they are. I think that's brilliant value, £3.50 for all of that. Six dinners, can't go wrong. I might do one of these challenges, like a pound a day or something, with regards to whether you can live on a pound a day. I think you can, people have done it, and I'm gonna see if I can. Um, Okay. Yes, I'm not really enjoying this. Ugh. See, blind and textures just don't go together. Or well, maybe they do for clothing, but not for cold, slimy meat, but. <laughs> there we are. Okay. Three down, no. six down, six to go. I honestly think this is, a great idea. Let me know if you batch cook things as well because 
I know um, a few people who do that and it's and it's really good for you because at least you know that you're going to have something delicious and healthy when you come home from work or school or college just to come out of the fridge or freezer what's your favorite thing to cook guys i might do um one of my curries or my lasagna or my chili con carne that always goes down well and there's always so much left over i always cook far too much the slow cooker for me is a godsend because it's just easy. You whack it all in there, leave it for four or five hours, possibly longer. And it's done. And it smells nice too. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, that's weird. I need to work it out. Okay. Hmm. There's three. Let's <laughs> just, I did put two. One little bit left. I don't understand how that happened because there's two in each. I have to get another bag. I have to get another bag, guys, because there's one little chicken thigh left on his own. Maybe I didn't do my maths, but I'm sure I did. Hey ho. Okay, so one little thigh left. Look how big that is. I, I know I've said it before, but I think Marty thinks it's for him, but sorry, Mark, you're not allowed human food. Right, and that's it. And I'm gonna wash this and I'm gonna recycle plastic container. Wash my hands again, and then I'm gonna freeze it. But let me know in the comments below what things you do to make cooking and life easier for yourself. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, you know what to do, give it a dislike. It all helps towards my yeah, channel getting more noticed. Channel getting noticed, I can't even speak. It's late, okay, just forgive me. And yeah, don't forget you can subscribe. You know you want to. See you in my next one. Bye guys.